double. Tanked it on the way up. Nice fat sand bass. Cool. They're nice sandy. I think I finally got the fish I was looking for. Maybe not. Now that I tighten the drag, it doesn't seem so big. I don't think I could do that to a hybrid. Oh, it's a hybrid. Shoot. This looks good. Sweet. Yes! That's what we came here for. <laughs> Look at the proportion proportions of these things. They're insane. Alright, this one's gonna go back. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, don't do that. Yes. Guys, look at this right here on the umbrella rig. The, the rig is wrecked. But look at that, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. That thing fought so hard. Let's weigh it. Six pounds. You probably can't see it, but six pounder. That is pretty cool. Giant fish. We're gonna let this one go. Hi right, guys, these are what hybrids look like on the fish finder. These big, dark, red marks. There's a big group of them right there. Going over a bunch of them. And then you'll see some other little ones mixed in. Those are sand bass. I've never been here before, but I've heard this place has giant hybrids, so ended up having some success. I've I've been fishing offshore structure and trolling it with Alabama rigs and these Alabama rigs specifically are super good quality I've I've used Alabama rigs before that I'm sure would have busted apart with that last fish they're strong so that was crazy we're gonna try to get on a few more and then get out of here another one this one's big.
Wow. Is it hybrid? Not bigger than the other one, but a lot of energy. Alabama rig again. Another fat hybrid. <laughs> Back she goes. Alright, got another one. This one's pulling like crazy. Nuh uh. He popped off right there. Wow. That's a bummer. Another one after that big one I lost. This one didn't seem as big. But sometimes they just have different energy levels. He's not small. Yeah, he's small. What in the world? What was happening there? <laughs> Big fish. I'm having to chase this one with the boat because he's taking all my line. Sweet. <laughs> These fish are crazy. Got another one. There he goes. Big one. Again, I'm having to turn the boat around or else he would have spooled me. I already have a lot of line out. Boom! How about that? Holy cow, y'all. Look at how wide this fish is across the back. Crazy. It's hard to leave these fish. Way this one. Four eight. 
I don't know if that's four eight ounces or four point eight, but almost a five pounder. <laughs> Beautiful fish. These things are crazy. Never been to this lake, and we came and put this together. Here he goes. All right, it's been like 30 seconds and we already have another one. Be able to swing him. No way. Boom! Alright, I've been out here for a while on Richland Chambers Lake. Uh, I heard about big stripe or big uh, hybrid being out here. So I drove down here and put it together. I found some uh, offshore humps and ledges and started trolling them and I found a, a big flat out here where they're all congregated and I've just been trolling back and forth on it. I'll, I'll try to get a shot of my map and it's just all over the place but i've been trolling this six cents alabama rig with some golden eye jig heads on it and a variety of swim baits the ones that, that have been doing really good is the swimming fluke and this six cents swim bait so i'm gonna do another video right after this where i kind of explain how i troll and what to look for and all the whole tackle breakdown so stay tuned for that and i'll try to get them both up pretty quick so thanks for watching fishing outside the box this was definitely an outside of the box experience i've never been here before and i came out here and put it together sometimes you have a really good day out there when you put the puzzle together so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time